hello everyone uh, today we will discuss about how solvent is, is important for a chemical reaction it in this particular case we are taking the case of alkylation reaction and we will discuss about how change of the type of solvent can shift the mode of alkylation from C alkylation to O alkylation or O alkylation to C alkylation so in the first case so here we take this uh, take this anion which is um, naphthoxide okay uh, well, this is naphthoxide anion sodium naphthoxide so in this case what happens is that in DMSO which is a polar aprotic solvent that means it is polar but it has no hydrogen atoms in polar aprotic solvent like DCM, DMF etc O alkylation occurs that is this is the major product in the second case that is polar protic solvent like water or ethanol or some other polar protic solvent C alkylation occurs that is this oxygen lone pair oxygen pushes push it lone pair and attack occurs from here C alkylation okay to give this product and what is more interesting is that in benzene which is non-polar solvent okay this also gives the C alkylation instead of O alkylation so this is polar protic solvent which give C alkylation and polar non-polar solvent that also give the same product so this is very interesting two extremes one is polar protic and one is non-polar both give the same product this is very important point and this example illustrate how solvent is important in case of any chemical reaction so why this is occurring here so i i find that there are many explanations which are not completely right okay uh, many people try to interpret this in many way but that are not all that are not proper explanation so here i will give an explanation which i took from a standard book and i i sub i i can say that it will be helpful for you so let's start so let us talk about what is more important in case of any sn any substitution reaction so any substitution reaction which is the type of sn2 this in this case it is a sn2 type reaction okay we can represent that naphthoxide anion as this also that is in this case it is naphthoxide but it is general discussion it may be enolate okay in place of naphthoxide it may be enolate that is uh, where the C alkylation and a um, where there is a chance of C alkylation on and O alkylation these things occurs so uh, this is a nucleophile and auto attack here attack occurs on a alkyl halide like you can represent it like this so this attack here in a sn2 fashion to give this product or plus sorry o c h 2 r plus x so, okay this is the product and what is this is o alkylation and what is c alkylation if it attack from this side okay then this is called this is called the C alkylation okay so in any nucleophilic substitution reaction what is more important is that the nucleophilicity of the nucleophile now we know that if the nucleophile is stabilized by solvent interaction its energy of its homo is reduced okay so it, it becomes less nucleophilic 
or it may be said in another term that solvent it has to break the solvent layer to attack the electrophile okay so here we have to find out that in ch changing the solvent from polar aprotic to polar protic to non-polar how the solvent and nucleophile interaction is changing so for this we have to analyze the situation of the nucleophile in each type of solvent okay so let's do that so here it is dmso in dmso dmso is ex example of polar aprotic solvent so it has two ends one is negatively polarized and one is positively polarized oxygen end is, end is negatively polarized and sulfur end is positively polarized so dmso what happens for dmf like solvents the cation counter cation of the enolate or naphthoxide whatever you can say only the cation is stabilized through the charge charge interaction of the negative end of the dmso or dmf okay and due to the presence of this methyl group in or any other group in case of this polar aprotic solvents approach of this negative center to this positive center is hindered okay we, we represented it by this curly curly uh, curly things that it cannot approach to this positive center okay so it is it is not stabilized so now we can read the logic that if this oxygen negative charge on oxygen is said to be unstable then it is very much nucleophilic so it does it doesn't have to enter into resonance and attacking through this C instead without losing the stability of this double bond it can attack from oxygen end because it is more nucleophilic it is restless to attack okay so this is the reason in dmso or dmf overalkylation occurs what is the case of polar protic solvent in polar protic solvent what happens that the due to the presence of proton that is hydrogen which is positively polarized it can stabilize the negative charge on oxygen atom and this is why it has it it has not so much driving force to attack it can it is stabilized here so it can enter into resonance to here and then it can attack from here okay and we know that this is thermodynamic in this case the reaction is thermodynamic thermodynamically controlled in the previous case it was kinetically controlled okay so and due to co bond is forming here so this will be the more stable product so c alkylation occurs here so this is the difference why in this case C alkylation is occurring okay now we will see in non-polar solvent what happens in non-polar solvent like benzene what is happening that it the non-polar solvent it has neither positively polarized end or negatively polarized end so it can it cannot stabilize anion or cation both are unstable so there is no solvent solute solvent solute interaction in this case instead of that the solve the negative negatively charged enolate or naphthoxide we represented here by r okay this is general and its counter cations they itself orient to form ion cluster and this ion cluster formation also stabilize the oxygen negative charge on oxygen okay and the ox negative charge as it is stabilizing on oxygen it become less nucleophilic so it can come into resonance so what we are saying that if this oxygen oxygen negative charge on oxygen is stabilized through this ion cluster formation then it again is stabilized as before like uh, what happens in polar protic solvent and then it can enter into resonance and it can attack from carbon end to to keep the C alkylation product so here again it is thermodynamically controlled now we can summarize the whole concept that is uh, in polar pro polar, polar aprotic solvent like DMSO DMF 
ओ अलकैलेशन उल अकार एंड इन पोलार प्रोटिक एंड नन पोलार सल्भेंट सी अलकैलेशन उल बी द मेजर प्रोडक्ट ओके सो होप यू गाइज एनजय द भिडियो सो इफ यू लाइक द भिडियो प्लिज सबसक्राइब माई चैनल फर गेटिंग लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स एंड शेयर द भिडियो सो दैट योर फ्रेंड्स कैन अल्सो गेट इट थैंक यू